Hi, Nathan here again with another live cycle tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use JavaScript to trick your form at runtime to giving back the user some of the empty white space they may have. So we have a form here with uh, three objects. Well, excuse me, four objects. We have a uh, label here at the top, and then we have three simple text boxes. And each text box has its values set to allow multiple lines and its layout to expand to fit height to allow for custom entry multiple line text. When we preview the form, we can do a cut and paste to demonstrate how the, the field will grow if we need it to by typing in more text. But if we want to get rid of the middle field by deleting text, it will only give us back um, the original height of the object. In, in other words, the object is still there, uh, waiting for me to type more de text in it, to it. But if I don't want anything in it at all, all I can do is erase the text and the white space still exists. So I need a mechanism to get rid of the white space in case such, uh, such as this sample form is, the middle text box is not needed for some reason. All right, so back in my form, um, if I take my height down to minimal levels, uh, excuse me, back up. If I take the height down of the second object to a minim minimum of whatever it's required to keep that text there, and I preview the form. When I delete that text, I still have the white space there. I still have about uh, a quarter of an inch to, to give my text room to be typed. I can't get rid of that field altogether. So there's a couple of ways we can, we can get this white space back. We can put a button into the form, say uh, a command button, and we could set the button to when it's clicked uh, make make the presence of that field set to hidden So then now when we run the form and we click the button, the thing goes away. Problem is we're still giving up real estate. We're still giving up white space by this button. And of course we can set that set that button not to print so that it doesn't you can't view it when you when you print the form. Uh, we can set that by going back to design view and object and making the presence screen only. But even then, we can't see it on the printout, or we'll just we'll show you the print preview. We can't see it on the print preview, but we can still see the white space. And so how do we get rid of that white space? Well, a better solution, a little trick we're going to do here is to enter some JavaScript into this text box exit event that allows for us to type a one word solution to our problem. So here's two lines of code. If the value of the text box equals the word hide, then set the presence of the text box to hidden. And that will give us back the white space, the real estate. So if we preview the form and we uh, do our demonstration of the text box growing and also the bottom text box growing, And then we come to the middle and erase. We still have our white space problem, but if we type the word hide and then tab out of that object, now the object is fully um, hidden from view. And if we do our print preview now, we see that it's, it's not there at all. And we've saved the white space. So the application for this kind of solution would be a form that you've built that you need 
fields that are optional, but then if the user um, or the, the person who's filling out the form opts not to, to enter any data in a certain field, you can give them a little indication of how to get rid of that field so that when they print it, it doesn't have uh, ugly white space in it. So you could, you could do something like this, uh, type hide to hide field. So that when your user is uh, in the middle of the form doing his or her best to fill it out and then realizes on this text field, oh, I don't need this one, I'll type hide. And then now I can continue typing the bottom field. This works really well when you have captioned objects such as these text boxes if we put the caption back on. Let's say when we're previewing our field, um, we hide it this way. It takes away the caption and it takes away the white space. So in this tutorial we learned a simple JavaScript trick to reclaim real estate on our form in, in case the user doesn't need to fill that data out. Please feel free to leave your comments and questions. Uh, please feel free to check out my other lifecycle tutorials on YouTube, and thank you very much for watching.